Hi everyone, I'm humbly Anna Anders here on this YouTube channel. Just got off a video with uh, Infowars.com. They were having the president live talking about health care in this country. Well, guys, I got to tell you, um, let me just say this. I used to work in the healthcare profession. Hi, I'm Anna Anders on the YouTube channel. I'm a peace activist today. I used to work at Meth. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I used to work at uh, Lutheran Medical Center, and I used to work at uh, St. Vincent Charity Hospital here in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. And I worked for five orthopedic surgeons. So I started off as a receptionist, and then they liked my work, and um, they had me come back as a little office manager at their physical therapy practice, uh, sports medicine, sports medicine uh, associates. And this was the sport, first sports medicine clinic in the United States. So I must have done a good job because after that job, the doctor came up to me, Dr. Bowl, and he said, Anna, we're going to open a practice called Sports Rehab Consultants. Can you come help us open that practice up at St. Vincent Charity Hospital? And I said, sure, Dr. Bowl. So then we did that, and uh, it was successful. And then from there, they wanted to open up another medical practice of five orthopedic surgeons right across the hallway. Um, and it would be the same five physicians, Dr. Brightman, Bowl, Berkowitz, Zenos, Vangelos, Carl Alfred. Brightman, Bull, Berkowitz, Zenos, Vangelos, and Carl Alfred. See, five physicians. So um, I opened that practice for them, and I helped them. And I got to work closely with the doctors and the patients. I got to do the front office, the back office work. I also uh, had a desire to um, work for Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Northeast Ohio, which is the medical center medical insurance hub of this nation by the way people I don't know if you know that but um anyway so I got to go in there and see the inside guts and workings of all that all of that and I can tell you um it was exactly what I thought it was it was a bunch of bs okay that's what I want to say to you today so and the whole thing it took forever what I couldn't understand is here we were in the millennium we had computers and, and everything was computerized and everything, but yet my little cubicle that I worked in, I had volumes of books this thick, this thick volumes, all in, within my cubicle. And what I couldn't understand is why did it take so long to process one HICFA claim? One HICFA 1500 claim. Well, what I got to see working on the inside of all of that is how corrupt, how corrupt how corruptly it was all set up so it's not hard guys it's not hard to pro hi baby it's not hard to process a HICFA 1500 form you know when you got a patient hey sweetheart when you got a patient that comes in to see the doctor it's real simple they come in doc they doctor says to them what are you here for well my knee hurts okay well it looks like you sprained your knee but let's get some x-rays okay so you know so you get a diagnosis code and that diagnosis code gets put on uh, a HICFA 1500 form. And, you know, the reason for the doctor visit basically gets spelled out onto that HICFA form. And it gets uh, submitted to the insurance company. So, you know, um, I got to see all of that in, from the inside out. Got to process those medical claims and stuff. But what I'm telling you guys is ultimately it's a big scam. It's a big scam. Uh, of what's been going on in our country today. And the sad part is, here's the sad part, people. The sad part is we are being punished now because our economy, our economy from local to county to state to national level across this country is imploding on itself. See, major corporations, they're not st sticking around in the United States and they haven't been for a while now, ever since the steel industry shut themselves down. And they knew they were going to do that. So when these, when the steel industry and the auto industry shut itself down, it basically imploded on itself, economically speaking. When they did all that, they, they, they packaged up all the jobs and they moved them offshore. So when you move companies and jobs offshore, you know, south of the border, Mexico or wherever they shipped them to, um, what happens is, you know, even our cotton t-shirts and stuff, we grow, we grow cotton in Arizona, but the cotton, the raw cotton is shipped out of this country, shipped over to Afghanistan, shipped over to India so that they can make products. We used to make the products right here. So what's happening with our country is like almost like a reverse economy. So, and they're imploding our economy on purpose. So when you do that, what happens is the finances goes. 
And right along with the finances, the benefits goes. So this is what's going on in our nation today. And nobody wants to talk about the truth, see, the political truth and the corporate truth. So, but I'm Anna Anders on this YouTube channel, and I'll talk about it. And I can talk about it because I know a little bit about it, about it. un poquito, okay? So, and here's the problem. Why can't we have physicians create a, a PPO within each community and uh, within that PPO, have the patients, have the people pay the providers directly and eliminate the insurance companies. Why do you need the insurance companies? So pay the PPO directly, and the PPO doesn't even have to have uh, or handle third-party billing then, see? So um, only when it's necessary. So that's what we need to do. And then for the catastrophic part of the medical bills, when people have to go to the hospital to be hospitalized, sell them a policy for catastrophic health concerns for their families. That's how you do it. So it's a, just a bunch of, it's all rigged, guys. It's all rigged. And I want to say this Obamacare insurance thing, it's not really an insurance. What it is is, you know, if you don't have the plan, it's a tax penalty. It's a tax penalty. And how the hell is that tax penalty benefiting the American people, and I want to know, as a citizen of this nation, where is that tax penalty, where are those funds going to, and what are those funds being used for specifically? What are the funds being used for when people get penalized for not having health insurance today? Because I'm Anna Anders, I'm a peace activist, I haven't had no income this whole past year. When I came home from corrupt Arizona to corrupt Cleveland, Ohio... Um, I had to come home. My blood pressure was 200 over 100 every day trying to make peace flags, trying to start a business, uh, a legitimate business, trying to start a business. And outside my front door was uh, police officers sitting, following my partner and I for two years straight, especially after our family story, the Cleveland abduction story broke free here in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. So that's what started to manifest. And that pressure was on me. But I, I, I didn't think back at the time when it was going on, I wasn't thinking about moving and relocating back to corrupt Cleveland because I have a home in Arizona. I have a home in Arizona today that's paid for. Why do I need to be uh, away from my home? I have to because, you know, this country doesn't want peace. This country does not want peace. This country feeds off of war, drama, trauma, and chaos for people. So that's what it is. I got my grandbaby here right now, but I wanted to give a shout out about this whole medical insurance thing. Families need insurance, ins medical insurance today for, for the basics. Hi, baby. Yes, you're doing an awesome job. Are you looking at that paper? You want grandma to pull you in the basket? We have a little basket here that I um, pull my granddaughter in. It's like a little hoopty thing, hoopty yeah. car that we do. So this is what she's trying to get my attention for. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to throw a shout out. People can put together PPOs. You can pay the providers directly for just regular medical visits and basic urgy care visits. When it comes to uh, trauma and, and critical care cases, you know, major catastrophic insurance is necessary for those events. So that's what you got to buy insurance for. You don't have to buy insurance for the everyday colds and sniffles and follow-ups and that kind of thing. You can pay the physician directly and then eliminate, eliminate, the insurance company for that part of the um, services. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. And matter of fact, there's a group of doctors out of uh, Oklahoma, I believe it is, that are doing exactly that. So I don't know the name of the practice though. So, um, and I thought it was the greatest idea that they came up with because they had all people that, you know, that they were serv servicing, but what happened was a lot of them, you know, their insurance companies dwindled away. So they ended up having to pay. So they came up with their own idea of uh, providing medical services to their people and, and them paying a premium instead of uh, to, directly to the doctors and to the medical providers rather than to the insurance companies that just, just want to eat people alive on these premiums and stuff anymore. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. I'll try and talk more later. Thank